Good morning, this is Jason Hagley. I'm the Regent Agronomist for Winfield United in Illinois. I'm coming to you from the Decatur Answer Plot on June 26, 2019. And the topic of this video will be looking at some of the soybean pre-emergent chemistry demonstrations that we're doing here at Decatur. Um, the soybeans in this block were planted on May 17, 2019, and the chemistries were applied after planting, but before emergence on May 20th, 2019. So we're about 37 days after application at this point. The first plot that I'm standing in front of is a control plot. So this received no pre-emergent or post-emergent chemistries. And you can see an example of the weeds that are present here at Decatur. We have some foxtail or grass weed, common purslane, water hemp, prickly cida, and hophorn bean copper leaf as the main weed species here at Decatur. Moving to my right, the first chemistry that we'll look at is dimetric liquid or just metribuzin. So 37 days after application, this plot looks very clean. Uh, we do have a few common purslane plants present. And as we move into the plot, we also have a few small weed seedlings that are just starting to come up. Um, but this is pretty good pre-emergent weed control for 37 days after application. And now we can follow up with an appropriate post herbicide application of some type. The next plot is dimetric charge. So this is a new herbicide product from Winfield United. It's a premixed combination of metribuzin, the active ingredient in dimetric liquid, uh, as well as flumioxazin. So again, 37 days after application, we've got very good weed control, uh, no large weeds present or visible. And as we move into the plot, very few, if any, weed seedlings just starting to come through. And then finally, for comparison, in this plot, we have flumioxazin by itself. Uh, flumioxazin is a group 14 or PPO chemistry. As I pan around this plot, we've got a few water hemp plants that are present. We've got some common purslane as well. And moving into the plot, we've got a number of small weed seedlings that are just starting to emerge as well. So as we think about pre-emergent weed control, including more than one mode of action or site of action for effective long-lasting residual pre-emergent weed control is critical. Um, 37 days after application, all of these plots we, where we have some herbicide look pretty decent, uh, but the combination of metribuzin and flumioxazin and the dimetric charge product is giving us the most consistent and long-lasting weed control. Uh, we'll continue to look at some of these different plots as time goes on to see exactly how long we can expect weed control from the different pre-emergent wheat chemistries represented here at Decatur.